All right, so we're back to finish off this integral. Uh, before we get started, I realize I made one small mistake here, just an arithmetic error, right? Um, divide both sides by 2. That leaves me with b minus 1 equals 1. So, in fact, b should be equal to 2. Okay? So that gives me a 2x up here. Um, now, this one we know what to do with, right? It's, it's these two terms where we have to think a little bit about what are we actually going to do to solve those. And there's a little bit of a trick that we can do. Um, we would like to get away with a, a u substitution here, right? So we would like to say, you know, something like, hey, we want to do a u sub like x squared plus 6x plus 11. Um, but that's going to give me du as 2x plus 6, right? And so we look at this and we say, okay, we have 2x, but we don't have the plus 6. That's okay. We add it in. Now, of course, that changes things. We don't want to just add it in. But that's all right. We add it in here, and we can, uh, we can subtract it over here, right? Uh, minus sign's already there, so we can do a plus 6 there, right? So those two 6s, right, 6 minus 6, they cancel out. I haven't changed anything. All that I'm doing there is changing the constant on top of this. It's fine. We can, we can deal with that. All right. So we deal with each one of these separately, right? 5 over x plus 1. Well, this one's not so bad, right? This is just going to be 5 natural log x plus 1 plus c. Pizza cake. The next one is actually not any worse because we've set things up, right, to help ourselves. So if I let u equal to the bottom, the top is du, so this is just 1 over u du, that's natural log. So this is going to just give me natural log x squared plus 6x plus 11. Plus 11. Um, again, irreducible positive quadratic, so I don't need to worry about absolute values. Okay, so far so good. That leaves us with this last integral, okay? 7 over, now that bottom, remember before I said we can complete the square, that's how we knew it was irreducible and, and positive. If we complete the square on this, we can write that as x plus 3 squared plus 2. Okay? Now, I'm going to bring out a 7, and actually I'm going to bring out a 2 from the bottom. 7 over 2 is the integral of 1 over. So I'm going to do this as x plus 3 over root 2 squared plus 1 dx. Okay, now that's, that's going to be an arctan substitution, right? And maybe you've memorized kind of the, the, the substituted versions of arctan. Um, I usually don't. So let's just be careful and make sure we get this right. We're going to let u equal to x plus 3 over root 2. So that means that um, du, well du is going to be 1 over root 2 times dx. Let's bring that root 2 up to the other side. Okay, so this is going to become 7 root 2 over 2. That root 2 is coming from here. Integral of 1 over u squared plus 1 du. And now that's sort of an obvious arctan, right? So 7 root 2 over 2 arctan of u, but let's put back that u is x plus 3 over root 2, plus our constant, if you like. Okay, so what's the overall integral? Well, it's the sum of these three, right? So this integral is going to be 5 times log of x plus 1, plus the log of x squared plus 6x plus 11, plus 
7 root 2 over 2 times arctan of x plus 3 over root 2. Add those through together, you've got your integral.